tragedy of our recent past, it seems to me, is that we have come to view a human achievement in terms of our ability to defeat nature, to defy the limitations she imposes on us, and to demonstrate our own supremacy as a species over the natural economy she requires. Now, in all of this, we could do well to recall the belief of many indigenous peoples around the world that in making decisions, we should think about the consequences for unborn children seven generations in the future. It will be worth bearing in mind the Maori principle of Kaitiaki Tanga, which holds that we are intrinsically connected to the natural environment and that it is beholden on us to treat it with care, guardianship, and good management. If, ladies and gentlemen, we can find a place for this traditional wisdom at the heart of a new decarbonized and circular bioeconomy, if we can turn back to nature with reverence and respect and recognize that we are utterly dependent upon her, and if we realize that our economy must be informed by nature's own waste-free circular economy, then we still can change course.